Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps, and I am um, going to do another silk soap. This is my third soap, fourth soap of the day, third video. Um, just some clay stuck to my glove. Here we go. This one is going to be scented with coconut and lime verbena. One of my favorite smells, lime and coconut. Oh, yum. I don't know why I've... I haven't done it until now, but, whew. Um, my back is spasming. Something fierce, so, hoping I don't fall over into the soap here. I very well might. That was just my life solution in the silk. Hope you can see, I've been moving the camera around trying to find a good position for you and for me so that I'm not straddling the camera. That's sodium lactate and cream. Let me get these out of the light. really thick, but I'm still being really cold right now. Um, I'm still being at room temperature, but the room temperature is pretty cold. So, there's my fragrance oil. It smells really good, nice and fresh. excited. Um, another soaper, Katie from Royalty Soaps, who is um, somebody that I admire very much. I watch all of her videos. I watch a lot of soaping videos. I have several that are my favorites, and she is one of my favorites. She announced yesterday, well, a while ago, that she was going to start doing some reviews on some soapers and soap companies, and she's done them before, but she has a lot of followers and um, a lot of people watch her, and she announced yesterday that she chose me. Um, it was something I was not expecting at all. I was really, really excited. Uh, it's always an honor when somebody asks if they can review your products, but another soaper, um, especially one of her caliber, it was just very excited. And my husband last night, he was like, you you act like um, a celebrity contacted you. And I said, well, she kind of is. She's a soaping celebrity. Um, so for me, it was a, a really big honor. I mean, out of all of the people that she could have picked, she picked 12 of us, and I happened to be one of the 12. And for me, it just is mind-blowing. Um... So, I'll keep you posted and let you know how that goes and when that comes around. So, that was super exciting. So, in the meantime, I think I want a little bit more in here. I'm going to do two different greens. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a drop swirl on this. So, I have a light green and a dark green. If you can see those, I'll mix those up in a second. And then, on my base, I'm going to do white. It's not going to be a stark white. It'll be a little bit of a creamy white. More on the white side, and that's fine. Coconut really isn't stark white anyway. So I'm going to get all of this out as much as I can. Waste not, want not. I don't like waste. I try to watch my camera because every video I have done today it's shut off. I just keep forgetting to watch the time. than this, but 
I'm going to go with it because I don't want um, <clears throat> glycerin rivers. Do the lighter green first. And I'm using new micas. I just got a huge order. And these are all from Nurture's Soap Supply. I really like their micas. 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 That's a new word. I'm in um, a lot of pain, so if I'm not making sense, blame it on that. I have uh, back issues. This is my last batch, but that makes it a little easier later. Get my mold and view here. Just checking the time and I'm just gonna stir this for a second and try to get some of the bubbles out. There are a lot of bubbles I'm noticing and Sometimes stirring helps. I'll get I'll have more bubbles in a second anyway since I am doing a drop swirl. I'm just gonna pour part of the batter in here and then add my colors. Stir this for a second. A lot of bubbles in this one. So this is the lighter green. Oh gosh, I almost missed. I thought for sure that was going over the side. I'll be really impressed if I don't make a colossal mess with this batch. Actually, this is my, like I said, my fourth batch and they've all gone fairly well tonight. Usually I spill something I make a mess or something. Not complaining though. And maybe I shouldn't say anything until I'm done because it's, you know, still early. This smells really good. It smells really fresh and really clean. I really like it. And it's really easy to work with. I like that too. This will be the last pass. I was noticing the other day that the um, days finally seem to be getting longer, which is nice. Living north during the winter, the dark days are just really long. Um, you know, for a while, four o'clock, it was dark. Well, more like four thirty, but still, um, we were needing the lights on in the house early, and I just I can't stand that. I'm going to smack this down. And I think I'm going to give this, oh, what do you think? Do I do a little swirly swirl or do I leave it alone? I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. I'll grab a spoon. Oh, three seconds. Let me pause. My timing couldn't have been any better on that one had I planned it. So I'm just going to do a random drizzle. I don't know 
know if that was the light green or the dark green. I guess it doesn't matter. Probably could have done another pass with the colors, but that's okay. So this is the first time I have soaked, um, I mean really soaked, in, I don't know, three weeks? We've just had a lot going on at home, kids have been busy, a lot of appointments for the kids, um, sick kids, sick me. So this kind of goes on the back burner, and even today it was starting to look like today wasn't going to ha I wasn't going to be able to soak today either, but, and then my back, and I thought, you know, really want to soap so regardless of what's going on I'm gonna make some soap and I have a lot planned um, you know festivals are coming up so I'm going to be getting ready for those here soon well I kind of am already um, but I need to make sure I've got a lot in stock for festivals for spring festivals. I turned one down the other day. They contacted me and I turned it down for several reasons. You know, I look at so many things when I decide venues. What am I going to do? The, the day and the time, the location, how much does it cost? Um, turnout. Some of them, the prices on some are just crazy expensive. Um, sometimes you got to sell a lot of soap, pardon my reach, to make your space back. And if you don't have a lot of people that come, then it just it doesn't make it worth while. And some are a big gamble because while they're busy, they're expensive. And that's what I'm looking at right now. And I'm not going to talk about what they are yet because I'm still in the works. But I'm very excited about the possibilities of a couple. Whoops. I know this is taking a while. I apologize. So I just, in addition to all the new colors that I got that, oh, I just want to play with, I also got a bunch of new fragrances, and then I have some people who are asking me to um, restock some of the ones that I have sold out of, um, some of the really popular ones, like, um, I'm trying to think of soap names, uh, but the one that smells like eggnog, and um, Cassiopeia, which is the Caramel Crimson Pear. I'm out of a couple of the natural soaps. I just did Oatmeal, Milk, and Honey today in Plumeria. And this one, and it's uh, I don't mind doing remakes. I like it. It's fun. Um, and I want to make my customers happy. That's super important to me. But I also like playing with the new ones. So sometimes, ooh, back spasm. Sometimes for me, and I've got all these pretty colors and scents sitting here, I'm like, I just, I want, I want to play. Um, but I do have a couple of the remakes on the agenda. Oh, Comet. That is a really popular one that I have a hard time keeping in stock. So I'll be doing another batch of Comet here pretty soon. Um, for those don't, that don't know, Comet is one of my uh, masculine scents, masculine soaps. 
and it's fragranced with Vevator, and it is one of our favorites here in the house, and uh, one of my top sellers. Almost done. Last one. This top is going to be pretty thick. That's okay. Okay. Let me wipe off the table a little bit. I've got splatters all over the place. Let me smack this down. Actually, let me clean off the side. down. That looks kind of cool like that. That is really tempting to leave that alone. Hmm. Do I leave it or not? Nah, I'm going to swirl. And I'll just do a light swirl. I see that looks pretty cool too. Last thing I want is to go, oh I should have left it alone. So we'll go with that. Alright, a little bit of glitter, just a light dusting. With this shaker, I like the shaker, pardon my arm, but it is hard to get just a really light dusting, and I don't want to overpower the soap with glitter. I want it to be very subtle, just to give it a, a sheen. And uh, I noticed that with some of my soaps, I got a little heavy-handed as I was adjusting. So that's good enough. Not completely covered, but it's just enough to make it sparkle. Um, and everything's got to sparkle. Glitter, in my opinion, is not a bad thing. This will be cured March 4th. And don't go anywhere. I'm going to attach the cutting video to this video so you don't have to hunt for it. Uh, but thanks for watching. Okay, Coconut Lime Verbena. Don't have a name for this one yet. And I just realized that I hadn't spent any time looking for a name. I will find one. I'm going to go kind of fast because my battery is about dead. Oh, that's pretty. I worried that maybe my swirls would be too heavy handed. Ah, uh, but they're perfect. This one smells so good. I have to make sure I'm in the shot there. It's very light and fresh. I can definitely smell the lime, which I like. Oh, there's a happy face. See, the soap's happy with its design, too. And I watched back the making video and and I went back and forth over whether or not to swirl it. And I think it would have looked cool either way, but I am happy with it. I'm loving the top. I'm so happy that I did swirl the top. Are we in focus? Let me see. No. Well, I just realized that my camera turned off before I finished showing you everything. So let me zoom. Not zoom, but this is the Coconut Lime Verbena. And again, it will be cured on um, March 4th. And I will have it available for pre-order at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.